Hi folks, I'm Sohan, Android.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge using Torp Recovery. Now, this method is the preferred method for custom ROMers and Flashaholics because it roots your phone at the same time installs Torp Custom Recovery. With Torp Recovery, you'll be able to back up, restore, and install custom ROMs. Also, this method will work on all the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. Uh, as of this video, actually, there's no Torp Recovery available for the S6 Edge, but once it becomes available, you'll be able to follow this tutorial, um, just a different file, and root your phone and install Torp Recovery. But this works for all the Galaxy S6 models out right now because they all use the same CPU this year, which is nice, which means the Torp Recovery is compatible. Now it will work for all the S6 models except for AT&T and Verizon, which have locked bootloaders. Let's go ahead and root our phones. Let's go do this, baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to root your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge uh, using Torp Recovery. This will also show you how to install Torp Recovery. All right, first thing you want to do is go ahead and power off your phone. All right, this will actually work on all the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge, except for AT&T and uh, Verizon, which have locked bootloaders, unless you have the developer edition. All right, uh, once it's powered off, you're going to go ahead and put it into download, download mode. Go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and the power button. All right, let go of all buttons when you see the warning screen. Go ahead and volume up and go ahead and plug in your to your computer. And let's go to your computer real quick. All right, next go ahead and go to my site, galaxyas6root.highonandroid.com, uh, and then go to click on CWM Torp Recovery menu, and you'll see all the Clockmar Recovery or Torp Recovery listed here. Uh, for this root method, we're gonna go ahead and use Torp Recovery, and that's the one also I recommend if you don't know what that means. Go ahead and download the Torp Recovery for Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge. Uh, again, S6 Edge is not available at the time of this video, but it's, if it's available by the time you see it, um, you'll be able to download it here. It says coming soon here. But go ahead and download the TAR version. The IMG version is for those of you rooted already. Um, go ahead and download the TAR for the Galaxy S6. And this will work for all the models except for the uh, at and and Verizon. Now Sprint does have a separate uh, version. You don't actually need to use this one, but you can go ahead and use that one if you have the Sprint S6. All right, go ahead and click on it. And you come to this download uh, AndroidROM.com. Just wait like five seconds and uh, you'll be able to enter the capture down here. And once it's downloaded, you'll also need to download uh, Odin V3185. Um, if you haven't downloaded it, go ahead and download that. I'll have the link on my site. It's this program right here. And double click on it uh, and extract all files and go ahead and extract. I've already extracted it, but I did do it again for you. All right, once you have this open, um, you're good to go. And also double check, go back to your downloads folder, double check that you have the file uh, that you want to install. Uh, it should be called twerp something.tar, like down here. Mine says twerp 2.8.6.0 blah blah img.tar. It should be end in .tar. Go back to the Odin folder and go ahead and double click on the Odin program. Now you should see a blue uh, blue highlighted box like this with a random com number. If you don't see that, then it means you need to install the drivers. Um, go ahead and download the Samsung Galaxy S6, S6, S6 Edge drivers and go ahead and double click on the EXE file. Install it and unplug your phone and plug it back in the micro USB. This thing right here, go ahead and unplug, plug it in. And you should be able to see the blue highlighted sign. If you see this, you're ready to go. Um, next, all we're gonna do is choose a, uh, also for Linux or Mac, you can use Jodin, J-O-D-I-N, go Google it uh, instead of Odin. And also that one does not require drivers as Windows is the only thing that requires drivers. All right, go ahead and click on AP and we're gonna go ahead and find the file we downloaded earlier, the Torp recovery. For mine, it's this one, Torp blah blah img.tar. And we're gonna go ahead and hit start next, but uh, wait for a second here. Because there is a no removable battery on the Galaxy S6, unlike the Note 4, and also a lot of times uh, the system, uh, the stock firmware will overwrite, will overwrite your Torp recovery. So what we have to do is actually um, reboot into Torp recovery right away. So what we're going to do is hold down volume up, center home, and the power button to uh, hold it down right after we hit start. Okay. So ready? I'm going to go ahead and hit start. All right. And then I'm gonna hold down volume up, center home, and power. Ready? Hit the start, volume up, center home, and the power button. And your phone will reboot. Wait a second here. 
Uh, when you see the logo, keep holding down the volume up and the center home button, and this will enter you into Tour Recovery. Once you got to this point, you're good to go. All right, if you see this, um, go ahead and hit Reboot System. Now, it may ask you to um, disable System Update Recovery, something along those lines. If it asks you, then say yes, because otherwise it's gonna write over your Tour Recovery and you're gonna have to do this Odin thing again. All right, that's pretty much it. And let's go ahead and wait and go ahead and connect it back to your computer. And we're gonna go ahead and download one more file and copy it over. Okay, now you do need to download update Super SUV uh, 2.37. Go ahead and right click copy. Go ahead and copy it anywhere on your Galaxy S6. I'm gonna go ahead and paste anywhere here. All right, and let's go back to our phone. All right, once that's done, you don't need the micro USB cable anymore. We're gonna go ahead and enter into our new Tor Recovery. Go ahead and power off. And go ahead and hold down volume up, center home, and power. Center home. Oh, sorry, volume up, center home, and power. Go ahead and hold it down until you see the logo. Let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up and the center home, and you should be back at Torp Recovery. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and root this device. Go to install. Go ahead and find the Super SU file you copied over. I'm gonna choose Super SU. Confirm to flash. All right, and go ahead and reboot, and you should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead and reboot, and we should be fully rooted when we uh, reboot. And it's been, what, five seconds? This phone boots up so fast, it's amazing. Um, that took us like 10 minutes. Boom shakalaka. All right, uh, once you are rebooted, we're gonna go ahead and check that we have Super SU app. Go to your app drawer, go to the right, you should have Super SU. And if it says uh, SU binary needs to be updated, hit continue, hit normal. All right. And this may actually hang. Uh, if it hangs more than like a minute, then you can go ahead and reboot and try again and it'll, it'll work. And give it a second here. All right, so I got a uh, success. If it doesn't succeed within a minute, go ahead and just manually reboot and then try it again and it'll work. Hit okay, you don't have to reboot. Um, you don't get any errors, then you're good to go. If you get a pop-up message saying disable Nox, um, say yes and disable Nox, you don't need it. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to check you have full root, go ahead and download any root app, such as I highly recommend the Titanium Backup app, which backs up all of your apps and app data. Um, this is a great way to uh, back up apps, and sometimes when you get a new phone, you, you don't have to reinstall all of your apps. And boom shakalaka, if you see this screen, you have a fully rooted uh, Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge, um, and uh, now you should be able to also use Torp Recovery. I mean, that's how you do it. And thanks guys for watching this video. That was how to root your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge using the Torp Recovery. Again, this is the preferred method if you want to install custom ROMs. Um, also allows you to make a backup ROM and restore your ROMs, which is pretty cool. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys6root.highonandroid.com. Sorry, I can't even remember my site. We're going to have ROM of the week eventually. Uh, probably not for another month or two, but you can go ahead and sign up. So once this becomes available, uh, you'll be able to get around the week and stuff. And also, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus, and as always, I'll stay on Android.